Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Mobile Home Investing Secrets. And today I wanna to share with you guys the secret to investing with mobile homes without any money, guys. And I know now it's 2023, tough economy, guys. Um, very few people have uh, cash, cash on hand, so, and a lot of people are looking for extra ways to make money especially in real estate. So I'm gonna share with you guys the, the, the rundown of, of what we do, um, how to acquire homes when we don't wanna deal with them or we just wanna build up our cash and how to invest in mobile homes without any money. Guys, the only way really to do that is through wholesaling. If you're watching this channel, I'm sure you're interested in real estate, you know about real estate and you know all about wholesaling. So wholesaling, you can do this, uh, the same thing with mobile home guys. And that's how you can invest in mobile homes without any money. You're gonna have to wholesale them. And thinking about it guys, in real estate, I don't care what you're doing, any business, either you have time or you have money. Uh, lots of times you don't have both. So being that you're probably a newbie investor or you're looking for extra ways to bring in money uh, you have a lot of time on your hands. So the best way to, to build up your cash and, and to start investing, to get your feet wet in the mobile home space is to start with wholesaling, guys. And quick rundown, if you don't know my story, you don't know our story, been investing in real estate, mobile homes for over two decades between me and my wife, guys. So I have the authority to speak on this. We've moved mobile homes. We've had our own transport company, uh, all these things so very knowledgeable in the mobile home investing space guys i'm going to share with you the secrets that we use till this day we're still using them this very day guys so let's talk about it investing in mobile homes without any money you're going to have to wholesale guys and the first thing you need to do when wholesaling or, or to wholesale whether it's mobile homes whether it's whether it's traditional homes you have to build you a buyer's list, guys. That's number one. That's the first thing that you have to do. Building you a buyer's list. Build a buyer's list. That's number one. Um, there's kind of two ways to do it. Uh, you can do this... Uh, grunt work, manual work, or you can you can automate it. And there's a process to automate this stuff. And I'll run that down to you guys uh, in the Mobile Home Secrets book. And uh, it's too much to explain in this video, but I'm gonna kind of give you a rundown of what we do um, just to automate this whole process. And building that buyer's list, guys, you have to find investors. So you're asking me, Glenn, where will I find these investors? Well, guys, it's pretty simple. Show you guys where to find these investors. One. Investors that you're looking for, uh, they're park owners. Park owners, these guys are looking for mobile homes to fill their, you might have an owner who just purchased a park and they're looking to fill spaces in their park. Um, uh, older parks where people are moving these homes out of there and they're looking to, to backfill these spaces. So park owners are always looking for homes. So that's, that's the first place I would look if I was looking to build my buyer's list. And you can find these owners by driving for dollars, um, going through these parks, uh, putting out your signs, telling people what you have, I uh, mean, what you do, um, that you buy mobile homes and stuff like that. So um, another way to, to find park owners or people that deal in mobile homes is, uh, next person you wanna look for is landlords. Landlords are Another great person, another uh, potential uh, person that you would want to have on your list. Um, these two, these would be the, your most reputable buyers because one, they probably they more than likely have the money to purchase these homes. They won't give you any trouble. They, they, they know they just don't have the time. Like I said, when you're investing, either you have time or you have money. And these people, they have nine times out of 10, they have money and you have the time to find the deals for them. So. They make great candidates to, uh, to be put on your list, guys. And thirdly, um, just your regular consumers, your end users, people who are looking to 
own piece of uh, affordable housing. These are the people that you're looking for, guys. Uh, regular end users. And sometimes we deal with these people, sometimes we don't. But a lot of our deals, our wholesale deals, we deal with uh, investors, landlords, park owners, who people who are looking to fill up their parks. Um, we flip these homes to these guys quick. Guys, ladies, whoever whoever owns these parks, we, we, we flip it to them quickly. So that's the first thing you should do, building a buyer's list. Uh, and like I said, you can automate it. We tell you how to automate, automate it, how, where you'll send them a link where they answer questions, pre-made questions. I share that all with you inside the, uh, the book, inside the ebook. The questions you should send them. Um, that way, you don't have to spend all the types of time on the phone uh, asking them these questions and stuff like that. It's all automated and they can answer your questions, what they're looking for, the age, um, size, will they move it, do they prefer it to stay? Just all important questions that you need to know about these investors. Um, and like I said, you can automate this 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 step. But I just want to share with you guys how important it is, especially as newbie investors, you want to have a reputable name um, as a, a reputable wholesaler. You don't want to deal with uh, these investors and send them bad deals. Guys, I don't know how many times uh, newbie investors have reached out to me wanting to get one to put me on their list. And they start sending me these bad homes. And I try to give them advice and they get frustrated and they get mad. But a lot of times, guys, these uh, these wholesalers, wholesalers, what you would call them, <laughs> they send you deals that, I mean, these homes, they, they literally need to be destroyed. One thing that we teach you guys is you always want to acquire these homes that are livable, that um, that's marketable, but that's marketable, guys, because... Why would you send something to someone that, like I said, that needs to be torn down? Why would you show that to a person? I mean, you're, you're literally wasting their time. People want desirable properties. I mean, uh, a measure that I like to use uh, to, to say of a, of a home is something that I, re I would require or not is would I live in it? Would I let a family live in it? And if I can get a home like that at a great deal, then I know I have something. But these homes that are tore up, that need to be torn down, needs all type of remodeling work. Now you may luck up and find someone that that will do work to these homes. They they hardly, rarely exist today, guys, especially with mobile homes. Now in real estate, you can find someone who will rehab a whole property because they don't have to move a, a, a traditional home. It's attached to the land, but these mobile homes, it's more than likely that they're gonna have to be moved. And all this work, the moving cost, the repair cost, a lot of people just they don't want to cough up all that money so they they want it to be in livable condition guys that's what you need to be that's what you need to remember uh sending homes to these guys that are nice homes and livable conditions but if they tell you they they into remodeling homes send them those homes also but don't get on their bad side by sending them these bad deals because they're not going to respect you they're not they're not going to uh be bothered with you a lot of the connections that we have with our lists, they know when we send them deals, it is a profitable deal. They know that they can make money on the home. So that's why uh, we've built that reputation with them for such a long time that uh, they know when we send them something, it's going to be a deal and they have to act on it quick or because it's not going to stay. So that's important, guys. You cannot forget that you have to uh, don't make those mistakes that I see these newbie wholesalers make don't don't get on the bad side of, of these people um it, it'd be better if you just don't send them anything to be honest with you just wait till you find something that's better um and guys really it, it's think of it like this <laughs> it's like somebody giving you a grocery list and you're going shopping that's all you're really doing that's really all what wholesaling is you asking them what they want what's their preferences what would they like three bedroom two bedroom um needs a lot of work can you move it all these questions um and again i'll show you what questions to ask inside the ebook so check out that link but you're basically you're just fulfilling that that shopping list it's like you're going out to buy groceries guys so that's important uh to do that let's move on to step number two the secrets to mobile home investing without any money you have to 
wholesale. You're going to have to be a wholesaler, guys. Um, step two, after you build your list, is finding the home. Finding the home, guys. And I shared in multiple videos, you'll see the links in the description on how to market, how to advertise for these homes uh, that these investors are looking for, or if, that you're looking for, banded signs, you going on Facebook, Craigslist, all these things, guys. Again, I'll tell you exactly how to do it, the processes to take, the processes, what you need to do to set these things up, the questions to ask to get these homes at great prices, negotiating, all these things are important, guys, and I'll tell you how to find them. But just a couple of ways is, uh, Banded signs, find homes like this. Banded signs, uh, you can look on Marketplace. Uh, and we'll say driving for dollars. That's three ways where you can, you can locate these homes that these investors are looking for, that your list is looking for. Uh, and when you run across them, you just uh, push push the home out to them, showing them what you have available. Um, so once you find this home, seller to call you again. We tell you how to do all of this. Um, once you find this home, it's about sealing the agreement with the sellers, signing your agreement. And I, I get a lot of questions about this when it comes to wholesaling. And this is where it can kind of get tricky. A lot of people, uh, they get crossed up in this situation. They don't know what to do um, because they, they're kind of on the fence and they're kind of scared because they don't want to let the, the seller know. So this is what happens. They don't, a lot of times when they present themselves, newbie investors or you as a wholesaler, what you'll do is you'll present yourself like you're this big time hotshot investor and you have money, but you're investing in mobile homes without any money. So how do you get this seller to sign a, a, an agreement with you like you're going to buy the home when actually you're uh, just shopping the home to your list? You're uh, wholesaling it to someone else. Do you tell the seller up front what you're doing or do you kind of play it off and just hope that they don't find out? You just hold back on what you're actually doing. Again, guys, we tell you exactly how to do this, the steps to take, the, the questions to ask, what to tell the seller and letting them know what you're doing. But just to keep it briefly, you, you really want to be up front with them. We always tell you guys, our motto is, especially if you read the book, you only want to work with sellers that want to work with you. So nine times out of 10, if it's someone that's that you already screened and they're excited about what you can do for them, they will be happy to sign your agreement. And you can tell them, look, I work with a multitude of buyers. Uh, I work with investors, park owners, uh, and they can buy the, they can buy the home. They can get you your price. And they'll be happy with that. If you're upfront with them and let them know because it's highly likely that uh, they just want to get out of their situation, guys. And they, you're the only person that's uh, in their face that's offering a solution. So they shouldn't have an, a problem with it. We've done this multiple times where we told the seller, look, hey, we keep the homes for ourselves sometimes. It all depends. Because a lot of times when we talk with these sellers, they're always asking us, hey, what are you going to do with the home? We say it depends. A lot of times we keep them for ourselves or we'll rent them out, whatever. Or sometimes we just, we work with a network of buyers um, and we, we work together and we just, the main thing is that you're going to get your money and the home will be removed. That's the main thing. So you always focus the conversation on the solution, on the outcome that they want. They want the money for their mobile home. <laughs> a lot of times they don't care how they get it. If it's, they get it in a legitimate way, a legal way. Um, as long as you're providing that solution, they will be happy to sign the agreement with you. And guys, we have the agreements inside the course. Definitely, again, check out the link, the things to sign, uh, what to sign that way you're protected and everything else. Uh, so they signed the agreement. What should you do next? Fourth thing you should do when 
investing with mobile homes without any money, wholesaling, you have to market the home. You have to market the home. And again, this could be automated. Uh, you just send, we tell you how to market the home, again, how what you should do, the steps you should take, um, taking pics and everything else. We have a bulletproof system of marketing mobile homes. And when I say bulletproof, that means you're not dealing with tire kickers. You're not dealing with people who will, they're just pulling your leg. They just want to see the home. They're not serious. We have a bulletproof system that it's, I'll be honest with you guys, when we, uh, whether we're renting homes, whatever we're doing, we only show our home really to one person <laughs> and then the home is, is gone. Two people is a lot for us. If two people see our home, three people, that, that's overboard for us. But if two people see our mobile homes, that's a lot. Normally the first person who sees our home, who walks through the home, not saying that people on our list and stuff like that, but we're talking about people who actually walk through the home and say, hey, I want it. It's normally just one person, guys. But if you're not experienced in this, you're going to show people, hey, I want to see it. Then you're going out to the mobile home, showing it to them. Uh, I'll call you later. I'll think about it. Everyone that calls, they want to see it, but you haven't pre-screened them. So you're wasting a lot of time, guys, and you don't want to do that. And that's what we teach you guys not to do. But marketing the home, we show you guys how to do this. We, we show you the bulletproof system on how to do it. And that's in the ebook, guys. Check out the link. Uh, but you have to send the home to your email list, let them know what you have, um, and see who's interested. And again, guys, it's just like I said, just like fulfilling that grocery list, you found what they're looking for, and it should be no reason why they shouldn't dump, jump on the deal. Now, I'll tell you why they won't jump on the deal. It's two reasons. Either the home is, it should be torn down, it's a complete disaster, or two, you sign, you put the home on the contract for too much, which you shouldn't do because if you ask the right questions from your list, you should know what, what they would pay for a mobile home. So it's all about having the right information, asking the right questions to your list. That way you can just fulfill, you can fulfill what they're looking for and you can make money in the process. And the thing with these investors is they know that you're making money. They don't have a problem with it. Like I said, we deal with our list all the time they know that we're going to make money off of the deal they know that our price our fee is inside the deal and they don't have any problem with paying our fee so the fourth step you have to market the home number five when it comes to multi uh investing in mobile homes without any money wholesaling is basically sealing the deal guys and that's another part that can get tricky seal the deal and again this is where newbie investors too kind of get cold feet and they get nervous and scared because they don't know hey should i let the seller and buyer meet should i let the investor meet with the uh with the buyer i mean with the seller who i'm buying this home from or who, who i'm wholesaling this deal with or should um yeah will will the investor go around me Go behind my back and, and just purchase the home and squeeze me out of the deal. These things a lot of times investors are worried about because a lot of times when I'm looking to work with uh, um, investors to find me home, not investors, but wholesalers to find me homes, they always ask me, how how will I know will I, that you will pay me? I, and I tell them, I'm like, you found the deal for me. I want to have a great relationship with you. If you bring me great deals, why would I go around you for one deal? So that's what you got to think about as, an, as a wholesaler. Nine times out of 10, these investors, they don't have time to find these homes. And if you're bringing them great deals, they're not going to go around you guys. So that's something that you shouldn't worry about. Um, if you get a great relationship with these, with these people, they'll pay you in many multiple ways. I mean, you can be there together. They can do it. They'll just, uh, y'all just set up a way for you to get your fee. That can be through cash app. I don't know how you guys want to do it. A check again, we outline all of this stuff inside the ebook. So definitely check that out. Um, and we go through it step by step. We tell you really how to automate it. Really, you can do all of this with grunt work. It's gonna take a lot of time, which normally you have, but 
Um, myself, I like to use tools that streamline the process that makes my job easier. I like to work smarter, guys, not harder. That's that's not my thing. That's always been my thing. I like to work smarter, not harder. So that's the thing with uh, investing in mobile homes without any money. Uh, and when I say seal the deal, really, how you can tell if someone is serious, one of these, uh, one of somebody on your buyers list, make them put down a deposit. If they like the home and say, hey, I have, I'll put this home out to multiple buyers on my list. I shopped it out to, every, to a lot of people. So if you're serious, I need a deposit, $500 deposit. That way I can stop sending it to my list and take the home off of the market. Um, and, and you can do it like that. That's, way, that's how you can weed out who's serious, who's not, collect your deposit up front. Um, and again, that's in our agreement uh, that we, we provide for you guys. Uh, and the, like I said, you just collect the fee. Transferring the title of a mobile home is fairly easy. Uh, I don't know where you're from, but down here where we're from is just as simple as going to a notary republic, um, going down to the DMV. Um, it's a simple process. This can this is done in minutes, 30 minutes an hour, guys. So I know each state is different, but it's it's movable property. It's just like uh, transferring title to a car or anything like that. So a lot of times it's a simple process, guys. So you shouldn't fret about it, but guys i hope that this was valuable the secrets to investing in mobile homes without any money you have a lot of time guys so you should look into wholesaling that's how you can get your feet wet into this process into real estate investing into mobile home investing and again if you're interested in what we have we offer a mentorship uh, i have the links below and in that mentorship god would make this mentorship uh so unique and, and it's beneficial to you regardless of where you are in your in your investing uh career we show you how to be we provide you with the blueprint on how to be the number one mobile home buyer in your state in your area on the internet um guys our deals are coming in every day leads we don't have to deal with bandit signs marketplace driving for dollars we just do it for fun when, and when we're out and about but we don't really have to do this all of our leads come off of the internet if you saw the video i posted a week back or so about the rv these people were three hours away from us guys and they found us online because we top we were number one on that page whatever they typed up and searched for i'm sure it was something with mobile homes or rvs whatever but across our state no matter what city anybody types in i want to sell my mobile home in our state uh, our website pops up so we give you the blueprint on how to do that so and how much is that worth to you guys one deal guys can make you five grand ten grand fifteen grand you're nearly double triple your investment into the mentorship by learning that strategy learning that secret so and you get um you get to speak with us we, we walk you through deals if you have any questions um we have two tiers we have a 30-day mentorship program and we have a 90-day mentorship program the 90-day mentorship program we provide you with the blueprint on being number one in your state on the internet the number one buyer so um it's very valuable guys again check that out we also have a video course where we walk through all these processes we show you how to inspect the homes how to negotiate homes how to negotiate these deals so you can get okay deals and turn them into great deals guys so definitely check that out if you're interested um and if you got any questions just email us thank you for checking out the video and if it was you liked it subscribe comment below and i'll talk to you on the next one thanks